guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a faceted pinch pot form. So I have a few examples here that you can look at of finished pieces. I need to make two pinch pots to create this piece and put them together so the form that I create is hollow, which means at some point I need to poke a hole in this so I let out any trapped air. As I get started, I'm going to take two pieces of clay that are the same weight and turn them both into pinch pots. I wanna make sure I'm starting with the same shape as well so that they'll go together nicely. As I form the pinch pot, I want the walls to be a little thicker than normal just because later when I go to carve out the facets, I don't wanna carve through the walls. After they're constructed, I just wanna check and make sure that they'll go together nicely and even out the tops of them by tapping them on the board. This will make it so much easier when I'm attaching them together. Then I will score and slip and put the pinch pots together. Notice how thick my walls are. This is really important and you'll see why when I start doing the facets. Once these are together, I just need to smooth out that seam as much as possible. This just takes a lot of time and a lot of finesse just to try to get rid of that seam and any lumps or bumps that you might have on your pinch pots. At any point, if you notice your shape isn't looking the way that you want it to, just take some time to re um, form it. I'm just kind of pressing on the top and the bottom here just so that it's more of a sphere and less of an oval. And after the sphere is constructed, we're ready to put the facets in. But before we do that, we need to let our clay dry out for a while. So in order to do the facets, we need to be working with clay that's leather hard, which just means that the clay is not as soft as it is when it comes out of the bag or the pug mill. It's been sitting for a few hours, so it's cool to the touch and it holds its shape a little bit better. So we can do this a few ways. You can set your clay out for a while and come back and put it back in the bag or you can put it in front of the fan for about 15 to 20 minutes, just checking on it periodically. I have a piece here. This one's been sitting out for a few hours and I know this is leather hard because it's cool to the touch and I can just tell that the form is going to hold its shape. Now that my sphere is leather hard, I'm ready to start cutting out my facets. So I need a knife to do this and I wanna be really careful not to cut myself these knives in my classroom are very dull, but I still want you to exercise some common sense here so you don't cut yourself. And I don't wanna gouge the facets out like that. I just wanna hold it flat and straight and just kind of skim it across the surface here and cut out the outside of the clay. This is why it was so important to have the walls of your pinch pot a little bit thicker than normal because you'll actually be carving some of it off. So I'm just going to continue to add these facets all the way around the entire sphere. If at any point you notice some of your facets don't look right, you can just take your knife, clean it off, and then redo it. And the last step I need to do is to poke a hole in this form. The reason why I do this is so that there's no trapped air. So if I were to fire this without poking a hole, the pressure difference between the cool air inside the pottery and the hot air inside the kiln would cause the piece to break. So this is a really important last step. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching this video today and I can't wait to see what you create. 